Hello everyone, I'm Yuki Shirai from the University of California, Los Angeles. This is a joint work with Shenlin, Yusuke Tanaka, and Tameta and Dennis Hong. Today, I'm going to present a motion planning algorithm for limb robots and the stochastic contact forces. In this work, we present three contributions that allow a robot to plan various motions based on user specifications. Our planner generates trajectories including aggressive tripod gait by considering risk of the mission, as shown in the video. Now, we are going to explain the challenges for the motion planning under uncertainty. In this work, we target two critical challenges in motion planning under uncertainty. The first change is that it is difficult for the planners to design non-conservative trajectories. For example, this video shows the robot is climbing on the walls. In this case, the planner does not cause any randomness such as stochastic gripping forces, so the robot falls from the walls. To avoid this problem, one naive approach is to generate conservative trajectories, which increase the probability of success but sacrifice the mobility of robots. For obstacle avoidance as shown in the bottom of the slide, by choosing the black trajectory, the robot has a higher probability to arrive at the destination without colliding obstacles. However, this trajectory is conservative. Sometimes we want to choose a red aggressive trajectory by taking risk. The second change we solve is it is difficult to get the uncertainty model. For a robotic climbing example, robots are able to improve the locomotion capability by installing grips. These gripping forces are stochastic because they depend on the stochastically distributed asphaltic strength. So even on the same surface, the gripper generates highly random forces, and obtaining this stochastic gripping model is challenging. Therefore, to solve the first challenge, we propose risk-bounded nonlinear programming-based project optimization that generates trajectories in a probabilistic manner. Furthermore, we use a Gaussian process to acquire the stochastic model of gripping. Here, we are going to explain high-level idea of our approaches. The stochastic planning can be categorized into two approaches. In robust approaches, the planners design trajectories that guarantee the feasibility of the motion given the uncertainty bound. On the other hand, the risk-bounded approaches design trajectories that guarantee the feasibility of the motion given the probability density function. We argue that for tasks with higher probability of failure, such as robotic climbing, the risk-bounded approach has advantages over the robust approach. One of the reasons is that violation probability provides a tuning map to define a Pareto boundary on the risk between failure while finding a trajectory versus failure while executing a founded trajectory. This user-defined parameter can be task and environment specific, in contrast to the rigidity of the robust approach. The second contribution is that by employing GP, we can get the explicit stochastic model of gripping. This enables the planner to process a PDF of gripping forces, which is necessary for a trajectory optimization process. Therefore, we propose a motion planning algorithm formulated as data-driven risk-bounded NLP for limb robots. We verify our proposed motion planning algorithm on 11 kg hexapod robot with spine grippers for much surface climbing. Note that while we focus on robotic climbing with spine grippers in this presentation, our proposed planner can be applied to other motion planning problems as long as the robot has contact points with stochastic models. First, we are going to describe the chance constraint nonlinear programming based trajectory optimization for L limb robots. The purpose of chance constraint NLP is to find the optimal trajectory while satisfying constraints. Gamma contains the decision variables as shown in the slide. 
index j shows the time step and index i is dim index. So pi is the foot i position, capital P C O M and omega are body poles, theta shows the rim i joint angles, fr is the reaction force at rim i, and fg is the maximum gripping force with a Gaussian distribution. Equation 1b to 1f are kinematics related constraints. Equation 1g to 1k are dynamics related constraints. Our NLP based planner is able to consider these kinematics and dynamics constraints simultaneously without any approximation of nonlinear constraints. In this presentation, we focus on discussing constraint 1k. Constraint 1k is a friction cone constraint that ensures the reaction force are inside the cone to prevent a robot from slipping, where lambda denotes the coefficient of friction. Because fgm is a random variable, this equation 1k is stochastic constraints. Hence, we need to convert these stochastic constraints into deterministic constraints for the planner to manipulate. Furthermore, we also need to modify the regular friction cone to take into account the stochastic gripping forces. Thus, to consider the stochastic gripping forces in friction cone constraints, we propose the friction cone as shown in the right side of the slide. In our gripper, even under the normal load, the spines insert into the microscopic gaps of the train, so that the gripper generates a significant amount of shear force. That's why we are doing an offset shear force with the normal force is zero to account for the gripping forces. Under this proposed friction cone, the gripper does not slip if FR is within the friction cone. Otherwise, it slips. Then the next question is how we formulate these stochastic friction cone constraints. We utilize chance constraints. Equation 2 and 3 describe our proposed friction cone constraints accounting for gripping forces. Equation 3 has an offset term to account for the gripping forces. Then we rearrange equation 2 and 3 and get the joint chance constraints in equation 4. Delta is so-called violation probability. Equation 4 means the probability of satisfying these joint linear constraints is larger or equal to 1 minus delta. Thus, if delta takes small values such as 0, Equation 4 indicates the probability of satisfying these constraints is larger or equal to 1. In this case, the associated friction cone looks like this. On the other hand, if the delta takes large values such as 0.5, the friction cone looks like this. And in this case, friction cone has a larger feasible area compared with the other one. Eventually, Equation 4 will be converted into equation 5, which is our first contribution in this work. So far, we've discussed chance constrained nonlinear programming problem given probability density function of the gripping forces. But actually, how can we get the PDF? In this work, we employ Gaussian process. Gaussian process has many design decisions that we need to consider, such as kernel. In this work, we simply utilize the squared exponential kernel, and in practice, it works well. For the state, we assume the maximum gripping forces by spine grippers are a function of the grip orientation and the coefficients of the friction as others have shown. Under these design decisions, we collect a data set. The gripper was fixed to a linear slider at a certain orientation, and pulled by a force gauge on sandpapers. These two figures show the obtained testing data with the predicted PDF of the maximum gripping force and the PDF of the training data. Overall, we illustrate that our GP works well with defined states. Now, we are going to present hardware experiments in three different tasks. As an application, we use two wall climbing robot that climbs on the walls by squeezing itself between walls. The robot is equipped with a battery, computer, and IMU. The robot runs a PID loop to regulate its body orientation. 
No other sensor is used to control its linear position. As shown in the slide, the wall is covered with sandpapers of different grid size to adjust the coefficient of friction. The objective of this task is to assess the consumed energy with different violation probabilities. The left movies show where the robot climbs, while the right three graphs show the measured power in real time. Please look at these three figures in the right side. These figures show the robot consumes more power with the smaller violation probability. This result makes sense because the robot needs to push the wall more to have a very safe conservative motion with the smaller violation probability to avoid stripping. In the next experiment, we demonstrate the robot designs different trajectories on walls with varying coefficients of friction. There are three different trains in the environment, which are very high friction area, low friction area, and zero friction area. The generated trajectories are shown in the slide. Please look at foot positions. As you can see, with violation probability 0.1, the robot avoids low friction area and put its foot mostly in the high friction area, but sometimes also in the low friction area to minimize the length of the trajectory. Again, please focus on the top positions. With delta 0.001, the violation probability is decreased, and the robot foot steps completely remain inside the high friction area. As a result, our proposed nonlinear programming based plan operates the poles and forces together and makes a trade off between a shorter but more risky trajectory and a longer but a safer trajectory. This can be achieved if the plan decouples the footstep and contact force planning. Next, we are going to present the robot can conduct a very unstable gate, such as tripod gate by setting the violation probability much higher. A tripod gate is almost infeasible with relatively lower violation probabilities. However, by utilizing our proposed plan and increasing the violation probability, that is 0.4 in this case, the plan generates a feasible trajectory as shown in this video. The robot succeeds in climbing on the walls with tripod gate and its climbing velocity was 2.5 cm success which is three times faster than one leg gate. In conclusion, we presented a motion planning algorithm for a limb robot with stochastic gripping forces. Our planners exploit chance constraint nonlinear programming based trajectory optimization to simultaneously plan a pose and a contact forces with guaranteed violation probability. Maximum gripping forces are modeled as a Gaussian distribution by employing the Gaussian process, which provides the planner with the mean and covariance information to formulate chance constraints. Then we show the robot demonstrates rich behaviors based on different violation probabilities, including planning a risky but energy efficient motion versus a safe but exhausting motion. Another demonstration was avoiding danger zones like low friction environment and choosing fast but less stable motions in real hardware experiments. The potential future applications of our work would be motion planning for safety critical applications such as autonomous driving or mass rovers, which are required to have very high reliable motions considering risk of the mission. Our planner is able to generate risk-aware trajectories based on user specifications, which can be task and environment specific. So we believe our algorithm will be useful to design risk-aware trajectory for those safety-critical applications. Thank you for your attention.